This is the Suzuki Jimny XL5 door. I'm so excited to get our hands on this little thing. These are fantastic. They do everything that they have to do and do it well. But we're going to enhance it and make it a lot better. So we'll 3D scan this thing for bar work and then we're going to work on the suspension. But what I'm really excited about is that I get to drive this thing where they're meant to be driven. Follow us along. We're driving the little Suzuki Chimney XL5 door and it's a lot of fun to drive, it really is. And on this dirt road here, this is exactly what it's made for. Well, it gets around in the city all right too, but you get out in the open highway, you get blown around a little bit because it's so small, but on these off-road tracks where it's mainly going to be used, I reckon, it's absolutely magnificent to drive. you really got to keep your mind on the job. This thing is fairly lively. And we'll settle all that down with a, with a suspension upgrade. That, that should make this thing track a lot better on these roads. Now, I'll see you guys back in the workshop. We're going to whack this thing up on the hoist, do the 3D scan. Uh, rip all the suspension out, but I'm going to dyno the shocks and rate all the coil springs. Let's get to it. There you go. It's all finished and done. The team's done a great job. 3D scan and we rummaged through the parts bin and we found all the bits we need for a 50 mil lift. Now we're gonna make some tweaks to this kit just in case somebody wants to put a bull bar and winch on. We just need another coil for the front to lift it up. But at the moment, a clean skin 50 mil lift, we got a kit available. Now the parts we put in this, coil springs, shock absorbers, panard rods, and also caster bushes, front and rear, to keep that rear pinion angle just right and that front caster setting so the thing's not tracking all over the place. I can't wait to take this thing for a drive with all the enhancements, so let's go. We've just left the workshop, we're on our little test track and we're test driving it. Now, we drove it before in standard trim with the same tyres and everything on it, so we now get a really good indication of how good the upgrade is. Now, with the standard suspension on some of the corrugations, it was doing this little skip thing. Now, on the same track, with the same tyres and same tyre pressure, with the upgraded shocks and coils, it's far more controlled, and it just soaks up those, those corrugations. It's absolutely perfect. I've driven it now with the upgraded suspension and what a difference it's made. So we just use the Elite shock absorbers in this, but we also have available for this car the EFS MRP 2.5. So, you know, you really want a premium upgrade for this, I'd go that way. But this little Elite shock in this car works an absolute treat. The next up is the bar, and I can't wait to see this car with a bar on it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as we did making it. Now, let us know in the comments what vehicle you'd like us to do next.